Everybody loves big cats, lions, tigers, and snow leopards. But have you heard of the palace cat? Also known as the original grumpy cat. Here it is having a good role. This cranky looking cat is part of a group of small wild cats. In fact, there are more than 30 species of small cats like the palace cat, scattered across diverse ecosystems around the world. There's the jumping serval cat, which can leap up to two meters in the air the acrobatic margay, which spends much of its time in trees, and the clouded leopard, known as the modern saber-toothed tiger, because of its massive teeth. Many of these small cats fly under the radar of both conservationists and researchers, and are known from very few camera trap images. Though they're small and enigmatic, they're vital for nature and people. Here are four reasons why you should care about small wild cats. They maintain and indicate ecosystem health. Let's take the Grampy Palace cat as an example. Aside from scowling its way through life, this cat helps maintain balance in the ecosystem in which it lives, the steppes and grasslands in Asia, which are an important carbon sink. By preying on herbivores like the pika, this small cat controls rodent populations, helping to prevent overgrazing. Because some small cats like the palace cat are highly specialized to their environment and are highly sensitive to change, they can also act as sentinels to ecosystem health. They are great biological pest controls. Small cats can thrive on farmland and in disturbed habitat, like South Asia's jungle cat or Latin America's ocelot, which you can see here. They actually help farmers by keeping rodent populations down. Scientists say that by doing so, they can act as biological pest controls, reducing the need for harmful pesticides and avoiding losses from crop damage. So keeping these cats around can be a win-win for farmers if human-cat conflict can be managed. They're potential flagship species for conserving areas without big charismatic species. Across South and Southeast Asia, the fishing cat roams wetlands, and as its name suggests, it's an expert at catching fish. But it also preys on rodents and amphibians, this highly adapted cat could be the face of these threatened habitats, which in some cases are being lost at a greater rate than tropical forests. Many other small cats could play this role of ambassador for the protection of forests, grasslands, and other threatened ecosystems, particularly where there are no big charismatic species around. They could be the face of rewilding and ecotourism. Though small wild cats can be challenging to glimpse in the wild, Conservationists say that promoting and popularizing them through ecotourism could help inspire people to protect natural areas, benefiting local economies. Likewise, this fascinating species could help drive rewilding efforts, restoring natural areas and food webs. Initiatives are already underway to do so, using the Scottish wildcat or Iberian lynx, for example, as the anchor for rewilding projects. Just like their big cat cousins, this diverse family of 30-plus small cats is under threat due to habitat loss, persecution, pollution, climate change, and more. Another problem is that some of these cats remain massively understudied, often due to their shy and elusive nature. The bay cat, for example, found in the forest of Borneo, is likely one of the most endangered cat species in the world, and that's because we just don't know much about it. This short clip is one of only two videos of this species caught by scientists ever. There are many knowledge gaps about these small fillets, but from what we do know, they are vital pieces in nature's puzzle and must be protected. With behavior that can be remarkably similar to our domestic cat friends, these wild species help ecosystems and ultimately people.